Hey guys, today we'll be covering a 2020 drama film called I Don't Believe You're a Prince. The movie begins as the handsome prince of Dragon City, Malfurion, is woken up by his guards. Despite his reluctance, several servants quickly surround him and start assisting him in getting ready. Then, his strict chief approaches him and starts explaining his busy schedule for the day. Though Malfurion wants to live a normal life like others, he cannot go against his royal status, so he obliged. Later, to attend a tea party, he boards a private jet and travels to another country. At the airport, another VIP who is being guarded by his men walks alongside Malfurion. Soon, the VIP is greeted by his fans, and Malfurion uses the opportunity to make his way out of the crowd, leaving his guards behind. He then flees his guards and bumps into a young lady named Luhani, who is heading towards the VIP for the greetings. Malfurion initially holds her hand to keep her from falling, but soon drops it. He then pretends to be kidnapped by his own guards, so Lu assists him in hiding. As the guards leave, Lu decides to leave as well, but Malfurion asks her to stay because he is new in town and knows nothing about it. However, Lu advises him to go to the nearest police station and contact his family. Following this, she proceeds to go home, disappointed she was unable to meet the VIP. Surprisingly, when she steps out of the airport, she notices Malfurion following her. She turns around and warns him not to follow her, but Malfurion continues to pursue her. A little while later, Lu goes inside a grocery store to get some noodles, and even there, the prince follows her. He also starts grabbing some noodles, but since he doesn't possess the local currency, the shopkeeper declines to sell the goods. When Lu notices this, she buys his meal, and they both sit down to eat. Since Malfurion has never had a chance to eat junk food, he tries out all the varieties of noodles, spending all of Lu's money in the process. He further asks if there are any other tastes left, to which Lu vehemently replies, no. Soon, it starts getting dark, so Lu boards a bus to get back home. But after she travels a few miles, she starts getting concerned about leaving Malfurion alone and gets off the bus. After approaching Malfurion, she hands him some cash and tells him to take a taxi back home. However, Malfurion returns the cash immediately, stating that his home is very far away. As Lou is a good person by heart, she can't leave him alone in the streets. So, with no options left, she decides to bring him to her house. In the next scene, both of them sneak into Lou's house and head straight to her room. A little while later, they hear someone in the stairs, so Lou hastily tucks Malfurion under her bed cover. Just then, Lou's mother walks in and sits down on the bed while Malfurion is hiding. Following a short conversation, Lou somehow manages to get her mother out of the room by making some excuses. Later that evening, Lou stealthily leads Malfurion upstairs to the guest room, but as they ascend, Lou trips and falls on Malfurion. For a short period, they enter a romantic place, but quickly gather their senses and act as if nothing happened. To divert the situation, Malfurion grabs a toy and starts making noises. This enrages Lou and she warns him to keep it down, because if her parents find him, they will toss him out of the house. The next day at school, Lou cannot stop thinking about Malfurion, so she pretends to use the restroom and rushes back home. Unfortunately, her parents who have managed to capture Malfurion are waiting for her upstairs. In the next scene, the parents begin to reprimand Lou, but she keeps on mentioning that it's not what they think it is. She then invents a tale in which she claims to have met him in the street as a destitute individual without a home or identification. Lou even shows his ragged clothes to prove her point. At last, she finally convinces her parents by promising that he will assist him with their domestic chores. Following this, the parents along with Lou ask the boy's name, and he finally reveals it to be Malfurion. After the introductions, Lou provides him with her father's clothes, and they start living as one happy family. The following day, Lou goes shopping with Malfurion and meets her classmate, Happy Who. When Happy inquires about her new relationship, Lou simply replies that Malfurion is her new babysitter. This shocks Happy, but nonetheless, he introduces himself to Malfurion. On the bus ride home, Malfurion dozes off and places his head on Lou's shoulder. This makes Lou happy, signaling that she has started developing feelings for Malfurion. The following morning, Lou's mother discovers that Lou has left one of her workbooks at home. She then creates a map and asks Malfurion to deliver the workbook to the designated spot. Meanwhile, Lou gets expelled from her class for failing to turn in her assignment. Elsewhere, Malfurion follows the directions on the map and reaches near the school. However, his bodyguard Fording suddenly intercepts him en route and requests him to return back home. He mentions that the authorities are all over the place and they will catch him any moment, but despite this, Malfurion declines to go. Instead, he commands his guard to drive him to Lou's school. Following this, Fording drives him to school in a luxurious Ferrari. Malfurion tries to enter the building, but the school security stops him. At the same moment, Lou shows up and leads him the other way. She sneaks him inside the classroom, and after a while, Lou nods off. When the teacher notices that she is asleep, he throws a piece of chalk at her, but Malfurion catches the chalk and saves Lou. As a result, the teacher questions Malfurion, 
who surprisingly provides an accurate response. Later, as Malfurion and Lou are having lunch, a group of girls approach Malfurion. They are instantly attracted to him and ask to sit with him for lunch. Expectedly, Lou gets jealous by this, and as Malfurion is about to answer, Happy shows up and takes the vacant seat. This forces the girls to go away, making Lou happy. The following morning before leaving for school, Lou orders Malfurion to put on her family band and tells him to show it to anyone who asks him out. Malfurion is left confused by the sudden idea, but nonetheless, he agrees to it. In the next scene, Malfurion observes Lou's mother playing cards with her friends. After a bit of observing, he starts assisting her in the game and helps her win a lot of money. Because of this, Lou's mother becomes delighted and gives him permission to stay with them for as long as he likes. Eventually, Malfurion becomes part of the family and the parents start loving him as their own child. However, Lou becomes envious as she is not the most loved kid in the house anymore. One day, Malfurion and Lou are having drinks at a restaurant when Lou inquires about the type of black magic he used to win her parents' undying devotion. Malfurion reveals that he is the Prince of Dragon City, but Lou doesn't have the slightest faith in him and brushes him off. Later, they visit a mall where they see a competition for wedding photography taking place. They also find out that the prize for the contest's winner is a pricey smartphone. As a result, they choose to take part in the competition and give it a try. As they enter the stage dressed as a bridal pair, the audience applauds them and encourages them to kiss. After this, they strike some pretty poses and have their pictures taken. Surprisingly, when it's time for the onlookers to vote, Malfurion and Lou get the majority and win the competition. Lou is delighted and she starts jumping with joy as she has been using the same smartphone for years. After getting home, Lou gives Malfurion her old phone and tells him to call her anytime if he has any issues. She also advises him to memorize her phone number, which will make it easier for him to contact her. The following day, Fording once more visits Malfurion and warns him that the news of his abduction has caused alarm in Dragon City and has damaged bilateral relations. He tells Malfurion to return back before things spiral out of control. Elsewhere, Lou witnesses some schoolboys picking on an innocent student. She approaches the bullies and commands them to leave the boy alone. However, they get enraged and one of the boys tries to strike her, but just then, Malfurion shows up and grabs his hand. He then uses his professional combat skills and punishes the bullies one by one. Unfortunately, the entire incident was recorded by someone and it is broadcasted by a major news outlet across the country. At night, Lou's parents find out about it and become stunned. To make matters worse, Malfurion's chief watches the same news. Wasting no time, he along with his guards arrive at Lou's house in order to retrieve Malfurion. Meanwhile, as Lou's father prepares to leave for work, he notices the lavish cars outside and quickly calls his wife. Even Lou's mom is taken aback by the cars and she inquires if they have any rich relatives. Just then, the chief arrives at the doors and greets everyone. He then calls for the prince and without saying a single word, Malfurion leaves along with him. Outside, Lou calls for Malfurion, but he silently enters the vehicle and drives off. Devastated, Lou follows the cars for a while, but soon gets tired and kneels down on the ground. She then sobs and yells at Malfurion to come back, but the latter is helpless. Soon, both of them start reminiscing about all the memories they spent together, and even Malfurion breaks down in tears. The following morning, as Lou reaches school, she is suddenly surrounded by a large number of media, who start bombarding her with questions about Prince Malfurion. Fortunately, the guards and Happy manage to take her away. Later, a distraught Lou tries to contact Malfurion via phone, but the latter doesn't pick up as the chief has taken his phone. Malfurion also tries to call Lou, but discovers that her phone is busy. A few days later, Happy comes up to Lou and informs her that Malfurion is at the airport waiting to fly home. As a result, both of them rush to the airport. As soon as Malfurion sees Lou, he exits the airport. The chief orders his men to stop him, but Fording orders the men to not do so. Following this, Lou encounters Malfurion and asks him multiple questions. She also asks him why he didn't tell her that he was an actual prince, to which he responds that he did, but she didn't believe him. Malfurion then extends both his hands and requests that she choose one as a parting present. Lou chooses the left one and Malfurion hands her a gift. He then bids her goodbye and leaves. As he's on his way back, he reveals Malfurion inscribed on his right hand. The movie ends as Milfurion flies back to Dragon City, believing that Lou picked the wrong hand.